I am going to be showing you guys how I set up all of my baby hatchlings. Oh man, this thing is freaking beautiful. That's gonna be a mouthful of combos right there. that are gonna be 100% hat pie. So how cool would it be to get a GHI leopard pie 100% hat clown? Look at that, man. Inchy Mandarin. How insane. So let's get all these sunsets ready, sex them, and then put them in there. What's up YouTube? All right guys, let's get right to this vlog. I am going to be showing you guys how I set up all of my baby hatchlings once they have their first shed from when they hatch. But before we get there, we're gonna say hi to a couple of animals and then we're gonna get to this vlog. What's up Asian Water Monitor? How are you doing today? Also big shout out to YSA. Look at that. Oh, I know for sure I was gonna get you on there. Look at the happy girl. Look at the happy girl. Oh, you're happy, huh? You want a banana? All right, okay, I'll go. Well, it's not a feeding video, but I'll get you one. Let me finish uh, filming, big dog. We gotta say hi to the little frill dragons. You guys are getting so big, man. Especially that guy right there. Let's get a better look at these guys. Oh, yeah. Kind of reminds me of the movie Gremlins. After they have, like, the water or the eat late at night. Go with it, big dog. All right, get off of me. Then we have this beautiful green tree python. And, of course... Our awesome little monkey tail skink is just flossing over there, man. Look at that. All happy just being a monkey tail. All right, I'll let you sleep. And guys, you know I cannot go a vlog without showing you guys my Raptor. <laughs> I mean, I love this car still too. But oh my gosh, man. This thing is beautiful. What's up, Pavement Princess? Dude, so what do you guys think, man? I was thinking about putting like, well, I'm getting new rims for it. I'm doing some other stuff to it. But also, I'm um, thinking of, you know, painting this gold. That way it could look more like Iron Man. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think, big homie? I think it could look good. Now we got the 62 right here. So yeah, man, I love this thing. I freaking love this truck. Best truck you can have, hands down. Oh, what's up, Patchers? Ah! <laughs> Come on. Man, I've been way too quick for you lately, big dog. All right. Nice and humid. You guys can see right there, check out my temperature, it's a little too hot. So guys, before I show you guys how we set up all of our babies after they have their first shed from hatching, um, we're gonna take a couple of the males out that we've been pairing up with our females, and they're already locked up, it's already been happened yesterday, but we're gonna show you what some of the parents we already had going. Look at this right here. Banana Lesser Sunset to a Sunset Clown. Oh man, this thing is freaking beautiful. A little guy too, man, getting it in. All right, so let's put this away. Next we have here a super chocolate ghost and she was breeding freaking so Okay, then I locked them more to this awesome Mandarin calico hypo So again pastel super chocolate hypo to Mandarin calico hypo, All right? Turns muggerts. That's right Bam! And she does her ghost Was breeding to a orange dream yellow belly desert ghost Hit hypo. GHI Mystic Pin was breeding to this Orange Dream Yellow Belly Enchi Genex Pie. That's gonna be a mouthful of combos right there that are gonna be 100% hip pie. Turtle. Yes. Look over here. I see you trying to avoid. Can you say, can you say this? Can you say Aura? Aura. Yeah. All right, this should be the last lockup for these guys right here. Super Pastel GHI Yellow Belly. And this was breeding to a Black Pastel Asphalt Head Lavender. Here's one that I'm super excited about. Yellow Belly Lace Head Clown. And this girl right here, honestly, she's only about like a year and four months old. We just ultrasounded because we caught her um, bull wrapping and she was at 12 millimeter follicles. So again, we have a Yellow Belly Lace Head clown, you can see right here, and she's breeding too. Oh, snap, I think we're gonna try to bite me. I missed it. To this fire cypress clown. So imagine hitting a yellow belly lace fire cypress clown. Ooh, man, like Brian Barch would say, ooh, doggy. Another one that's really, really cool is a super blade inchy clown. And she was breeding to, of course, our powerhouse male, red stripe, spot nose, yellow belly clown. This one's super, super cool right here, man. Super Mojave Ghost. And she was breeding to this Mandarin Het Hypo. He's the one that produced the other little male. He also is known for having really good sheds. But yeah, so that's going to be pretty cool. Everything's going to be Mojave. Hopefully we can hit some Mandarin Mojave Hypos or just even some Mandarin Mojaves. That'll be pretty sick. But you guys know that Mandarin and Hypo work really, really good. All right, let me just get off here real quick. So right here we have a, I got it, I got it. A Cypress Het Pied breeding to a Albino Pied. Hopefully we hit a Cypress Pied, 100% Het Albino. And again, another one that I'm super excited about. They're both sisters. This one's already at 22 millimeters. She's at 14 millimeters. They're both the same thing. GHI Mojave Het Pied. 
and they're both breeding to this leopard clown pie. So how cool would it be to get a GHI leopard pied 100% head clown. And look at her, man. She's looking good. Speaking of good, this super zuwadi. Holy hell. You see that ovulation? Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Now that is an obby, obviously. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> good. That was really good. But yeah, this right here is a super zuwadi with the nice ovulation, bred to an orange dream, yellow belly, inchy, gene X pie. So hopefully we're gonna get some crazy zuwadi combos that are gonna be 100% head pie. And this girl is glowing, man. And right here we had another one that was really cool. Super gravel, bred to a orange dream, leopard, yellow belly pastel. That's gonna be a good one. Some awesome, awesome highway combos right here. And here's one that Turtle's pulling out. Right here we have a lavender snow, bred to a cypress mojave, 100% head exantic, VPI. So it'll be pretty cool to get a, uh, a Cypress Exantic 100% head what, turtle? Snow? No, head lavender, big homie. Oh. Alright guys, so like you guys know, so these right here are already shut out and everything. They've already had spin over a shed for over a week. Same thing with these right here, the sunsets. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful these things are. What we usually do is we, are, you know, again, everyone does things really different, but I started doing it this way just because I started getting a way better feeding response. Again, it doesn't take like, it's not like rocket science, only a couple of ways of doing it. But um, I usually would put my hatchling babies in paper towels right after and put them in separately. So we do is we actually change that up and we start to put in them on rep the chip right right after they do their first sheds but i was talking to my buddy will morals at royal canadian reptiles and he was actually talking about getting them on rep the chip the minute they're hatched and that's what i'm going to start doing from now on just makes a lot of sense makes them you know feel more comfortable they could actually burrow down a little bit it does a lot better for them when it's their first feeding because usually i'd give them in paper i'd put them in paper and the, you know i'd probably do like 80 percent of them would actually eat but we would have that one that was a picky eater didn't want to eat the minute we'd put them to rep the chip then boom Boom, he'd eat that day. So that's what we do now. So we're gonna get everything ready right now. We're gonna start off with the puzzle stuff. We have three puzzles right here. All of my holdback puzzles are on this side right here. So as you can see, we have a leopard hypo head puzzle. Another leopard Mojave hypo head puzzle. Look how big they are, that one's a lot bigger. She needs like a new bin change. Then we have a Mojave head hypo with some really clean water. She is super pretty. And then we have a Leopard Hypo Head Puzzle. Again, these are all head puzzles. I'm sorry, I wasn't saying this correctly. All these are head puzzles. And then our male right here, GHI, Yellow Belly, Double Head Hypo Puzzle. This guy's freaking awesome, man. Look at that. I cannot wait to start plugging in this boy. So, all right, let's get the, some bins ready, start putting the names on there, and go from there. All right, guys, so again, we're gonna grab some Rep the Chip. Thanks you see the way I do it? They're like a pro. And again, when, when we have our hatchlings, I usually wait about 10 to 14 days before I even offer them the first meal. Since I've been doing that, man, my success rate on them eating the first time when I when I give them a, a pinky or a, a fuzzy, it's been 100%. So it's definitely something I want to keep on doing. You know, Jessica Belka was giving me some advice on that. And, you know, these little babies have, you know, their yolk that they absorb. They're good for a couple of weeks, man. I think they go like 30 days. Not that I'm saying you should, but like I said, I usually wait about 10 days after they shed before I offer them anything. So, all right, so we got these already um, filled up. Up, and we obviously we leave a little space over here so we can put the water and then so you can go put on the puzzle section all right turts muggerts we're gonna put these in right here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start grabbing the little hatchlings this is the one that i want to hold back right here man look at this thing and they're gonna get their first meal offered tomorrow again right here we have a super passed out puzzle so we're gonna put her in her new little bin then next is another super passed out puzzle this one looks a little different they both came out really good man i love these things put her in her bin right here and then we have the regular pastel puzzle. The other two are super pastels. Another beauty, and then put them right here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get them some waters while Tina uses her beautiful writing because my writing honestly is probably like aces or like, I don't know, maybe like a third grader, five, fifth grader. What do you think, Turtle? Probably a fifth grader. Dude, my writing's horrible. You know what, I don't care though, I have a raptor. <laughs> Getting them some fresh water. Nice kicks, Turtle. Thank you. All right, so we all know that these all came out female. It's gonna be pretty easy. So right here, both these are gonna be super pastel puzzles, females. The next one, the bottom one's gonna be pastel puzzle, female. Got it. Check out her writing. Jeez, now I'm on the spot. Now I feel like it has to be like perfect, and it's not. Well, it's better than mine. If you want, oh, I could just. Day. <laughs> if I make you feel better, I can show you like me doing it. Yeah, that'd be great. Tight. 
All right, same thing on another one. While Tina's doing that, let's check out some other cool snakes. Look at that, man. Inchi Mandarin. How insane. So orange. I love this snake. And then we have our regular little Mandarin. I think this one proves out hypo. You can see they have like a very rustic look, man. Dude, Mandarin's so freaking sweet. Then we have a really pretty black pastel clown. 100% hypo. Bold facts. What else do we have right here? Oh, she's in shape. It's a pastel super red stripe yellow belly head clown. Oh man. My orange dream leopard clown pied female. I got so lucky hatching this thing. All right, so let's get back to the sunset stuff. So you guys know we had a full wall over here of sunsets, but I'm a big hoarder and I held a lot of them back. So we're gonna put all the sunset stuff right here in this section, right here. You know, we still have an inchy pastel double head sunset clown, pastel uh, spot nose leopard sunset double head sunset clown, cypress head sunset, cypress pastel head sunset. These things are getting big. Look at that head, man. That's like the telltale sign for cypress right there. A little blushing right there. All right, let's get to it. Again, we do the same thing. Just get some wrap the chip in there. Should have Jesse do this, man. He comes tomorrow and do all this stuff. I guess me going, but it's for good content. Man, guys, this season's starting to look really, really good for us, man. We're really excited. Again, more things that are, you know, we're gonna be cutting pretty soon. And we have a lot of stuff that's gonna be going. Again, we're shooting for, I don't know, 45 to 55 clutches this season. I'm like the best at putting wrap the chip in tubs. Yeah, you know, I give you an A+. All right, guys, well, that's it, man. So let's get all these sunsets ready, sex them, and then put them in there. And again, all these babies tomorrow are gonna get their first meal after two weeks since they've had. Well, one of them waited one week, the other one's been about two weeks. You guys wanna see a cool snake? Man, do I love this yellowtail Kribo. It's going into shed. So it's not as bright. These things are like little dogs, man. I swear, they do this little sniffing noise. Like it's so crazy. Like when they're eating, I don't know, it's hard to explain. But yeah, this thing's freaking beautiful. He's gonna get, or she's gonna get some tilapia tomorrow. So crazy hearing them just like crack their skills. All right, so now we're gonna start sexing all these little babies. Actually, no, we're gonna get some waters now. How many water cups? Uh, How many seven. snakes? Seven? <laughs> I think so. We'll make it look like we know what we're doing. Make sure you guys sign to my Patreon. Guys, I am so excited to start this YouTube channel, man, with all my, with the cars. I mean, I was talking to my brother, and we're already signing up for these, you know, like, these Raptor runs, the Baja runs. I mean, I am super, super stoked about it, man. I honestly can't wait to start that channel, but it's going to be totally different. My uh, good editor, David, is actually, him and I have been going back and forth on, you know, banners, name of the channel, just different ways of how we're going to do it, you know? Because I told you guys, not going to be no snake channel. It's going to be straight, just off-roading, fast cars car collections, I mean, dude, anything to do with cars, that's what we're gonna do, right, Tortoise? That's right. And I'm gonna get sponsored by Ford and uh, get a new Raptor. Can't stand when a little piece of uh, bark gets in the bottom and you can't really put it in there. Three. Oh, guys, and check this out, man. So you guys know that I do a lot of stuff for, um, for a lot with a lot of influence. I sell them snakes, I bring them snakes for content. A guy hit me up, his name is Taylor Holland. Taylor Holland, something like that. Oh. But I guess he's like a really, really huge TikToker. He has a really big social media platform, so I sold him the snake and man, let me tell you, I got blown up by some other influencers that just sounded that snake. The only problem is that I don't have anything for sale anymore. Like literally, nothing. But I do have that snake that we are giving away, which is right here. I haven't forgot, guys. And what I am gonna do on this giveaway is that we are just gonna do the, the random comment picker. So I'm, this video should be going up on Sunday. So stay tuned for that one. And then hopefully, you know, someone gets lucky to get this Candino or just possible albino. Uh, Super Ball albino or candy. All right, perfect. That's that. And now let's get these little guys here. All right. So let's start off with the normal sunset. And again, I believe this is a male. Get that. Boom. Ooh, man, little sperm plug. Damn, little boys freaking packing. Big shout out to my um, my very negative friend Khalil from Five One Four Reptiles. He was upset that I posted something about something on Instagram. But again, another little boy. Turn off. You met Khalil? No, we've messaged back and forth. Dude, I've never met him. That was that was sliding into your DMs. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Man, I don't even want to say anything because I'll probably hurt his feelings. But, um, you know you know how Jesse is, right? You know my brother? Big shout out to Jesse. You know how Jesse comes in, you can tell he's already like in a little like sad, negative mood. Yeah. So Khalil, oh my God. Khalil makes Jesse look like a stand-up comedian. Like <laughs> someone like just with bright, like just natural energy. That's how bad Khalil is, let me tell you. Yeah, big shout out to Khalil. Dang. He made me mad today. He got upset over a post that I put. What was the post? I don't even want to say it because then people are going to clown him. Love you, Khalil. Probably shouldn't say it. He's probably, gonna, probably just going to ruin his whole month now. His entire month? Sweet. Yeah, oh my god, dude. When you talk to Khalil, do you tell him something wrong? Okay, you know how your little niece, um, Madison? 
Dude. Yes. So Tina has this beautiful little niece. Well, she's my niece too. Like she'll be happy one second, the minute you tell her something, done. She'll, she's only two years old. She'll be like, don't you ever say that to me, ever. And she'll be like, I'm gonna spank your cheek. But that's like saying basically she's gonna sort of slap me. All right, so back to, so this is the only female here. So what I'm gonna do is, let's put it right here, I'll just remember. Female. And I believe these two little guys are normals. Yep. Damn, all males. That is so crazy. Besides one female. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Seriously, we're going to be bringing out some more bangers this coming week. We're we'll do a couple of reptile room tours that are scheduled for next week as well. Again, man, I can't wait for this new channel to come out. As always, guys, we appreciate all the support. Till next time. Peace.